normally he's pretty good but i get i get a little bit antsy when he's like right near me i try not to move like i can swing the chair but try not to move the chair if that makes sense um because i am i'm i'm paranoid i the last thing i would be mortified if you know i caught his tail or something like that that's Oh, we've all done it, do so <laughs> it I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I just don't it's want gonna to. It's going to happen eventually. I'm sure. I have I accidentally stepped on him one day because I was trying to slowly go past him. And just as I thought he was going to take off that way, so I was just getting ready to put my foot down because I do it slowly. You know, he's, he's quite timid. Um... So I went to put my foot down thinking, right, he's going to take that way, take off that way. Because that's 99% of the time, that's what he does. He goes that way. But no, he turns right around and walks straight into my foot. <laughs> I'm like, Cassie, what are you doing? Hey, chat room. I take it you can hear us. Hi, guys. Hello. Okay, Zaya got back to us. So Okay. All right, I can't read. Where is it? Hang on. Um, once more. Okay. Yep, cool. That's what I was hoping. Excellent. We will go with that. Uh, okay, let me go back to this. Um, hi, hi. We sound. Uh, you can hear everyone. Okay, hopefully. Hello. Um, I, <laughs> I might have at, got a few more screenshots. Thank you for the screenshots to Nisi. Every time oh. I then have to shuffle them around. I don't know if you guys, so when I get, we've got about 37 screenshots at the moment that are not my Shadowlands one, the, the bigger background one. Um, so I kind of shuffle them around cause I like to, you know, not have too many dark backgrounds together so if you you know have a look but um i because i have my little girl over in brill i had to get a brill <laughs> one which is this one that's up right now and um yeah so uh, hey hey chat room uh all right let's let's get started because we've got lots of stuff to cover all righty oh boy do we yeah okay ready in three two one Whatever it is you enjoy about the world of Warcraft, we have a challenge for you. Adventure. Crafted. Starter. Flowers. This is the WoW Challenges Podcast. And here's your host, Lita. Welcome to the Wild Challenges Podcast. This is episode 293. Today is Saturday, April 23rd, 2022, or Sunday 24th, if you're in Aussie land. <laughs> um, I'm your host, Lita. Hi, joining me again this week are Nisi and Fair. There they are, right there. Hi, ladies. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. All right. So we, before last week, two weeks ago, we did the um, the prediction show. And then I had, to, I had a week off because of things and stuff. Easter. That's right. Hope everyone had a good Easter. Um, and we're back. So on... Tuesday for you guys. I think it was Wednesday morning for me. Blizzard announced the expansion. And so we're, we're here to see uh, were we right <laughs> with our predictions. Uh, but first, before we get started, hi chat room. Welcome. Welcome. Who have we got here? We have got, we've got Rod, we've got Z Tiber's here. Congratulations, Tiber. Uh, Zaya's here. Nisi's also in chat room. Chris is here. Looks like we've got a lot of people. Paradin's here, I can see. Krazzy 
is here. Welcome, stirs somewhere lurking, I'm sure, but uh, welcome, guys. Hi, thank you for joining us. Um, Chris is having net. Chris is having Australian internet issues again. Fantastic. Uh, so she's on a phone. So do, 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 I hope it comes through okay. Um, all right. So I made. I uh, couldn't figure out how to do it, but I did make a little bingo card, uh, which is about the best I could do because it's been a bit of a week. Uh, so we're going to play the uh, Were We Right with our expansion predictions. So a couple of things of what we've got. Let me throw. So Blizzard themselves had this news up on their website and they've also got a dedicated, whoop, let's not do that later. That's not what I want to do. Um, they have got a dedicated uh, site for the new expansion. So the new expansion, I think, ticks for all of us, really. We, we all said dragons, correct? I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to mark off dragons on here. So that was a, so we got that. And sorry guys, Australian internet is being a bit choppy today as well, it seems. Um, okay. So we also have got, oh, we have got some wow head. So I've got lots of links for you guys. If you want to check out the information on both Blizzard and Wowhead. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So let's have a look at what we've got. So Dragons, Dragonflight is the next ex expansion. So that's very exciting. Um thoughts let's go through the thoughts of what you guys have of where the information that came through and obviously there's a lot of information some of it came out later than the actual release information from what I've seen so I noticed some, there's been quite a few um, interviews done, chats done with various uh, Blizzard WoW people and some of the information seems to be coming from that, like extra information. But um, but yeah, let's, let's have a look at Fair. Um, your thoughts on what you found first off. Okay, well dragons yay um, nice to be right about that along with everybody else the new zones look really nice mm -hmm. from what I can see I'm really looking forward to exploring them um, checking them all out um, I like that they're saying that we'll be able to learn dragon riding um, kind of from the beginning of mm -hmm. our time in that zone without a lot of hoops to jump through in terms of learning and writing, like the previous expansions have sometimes done. Um, definitely glad for that. It sounds like fun, too. Mm. Dragon riding. We also saw in somebody's um, conversation or, or presentation that there will be some controls that one can adjust to account for people's propensity, propensity toward motion sickness. Mm -hmm. Which that seems was one thing I was concerned about. So yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, the vertigo people are not going to mm -hmm. like this. But mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't see all the interviews. So yeah. that was good. Good. Yeah. good. Mm -hmm. but I think I was excited. I mean, there's new races and there's old races that reappear. I was excited to see the Tuscar showing up again. <gasps> I always no. like those guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I really didn't expect to see that. Um, it's really interesting i'm looking forward to learning more about their culture um i guess they'll go into a little more depth i wonder if they'll remember me 
I mean, a lot of my characters got exalted. But mm -hmm. Maybe those were different Tuscar. I don't know. Mm. And one of the screenshots they had showed Tuscar riding an otter as a mount. I want one. Mm. <laughs> I want. Yes. Well, I did see that there was thoughts that that might be the one that comes with the expansion. So. Oh, that would be fun. I'm kind of like, yeah, I'd, I'd be pretty happy with that. So I guess we, yeah, we wait and see. Mm. Um, let's see other things. Uh, one of the most intriguing things that I've read and exciting things potentially is the decision to include gray and white items for transmog. I mean, mm. talk about a challenger's dream if that really comes through that way. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I mean, my only little niggle in the back of my mind is I hope it lets you transmog starting with gray things or white things. And you don't have to already have a green equipped to start the whole transmog process. Mm. I guess that's, that's uh, TBD. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm. We'll have to find out. Mm -hmm. Sounds like sooner rather than later we might find out. So. Which would be good. It sounded like they're working on it. Mm. Um, a lot of changes with professions apparently. As a confirmed profession addict mm -hmm. with working mans and pacifists, I'm interested in that. Um, I'm a little concerned about some of the talk about it. Profession talents and special gear to be worn during them at some point. Um, we'll have to see how that works out for challengers. Yep. I mean, hopefully we can do basic professions without all the fancy stuff mm. uh, running afoul of the rules. But I'm glad. I guess archaeology still is not a thing, by the way. No. That was a question on somebody's yeah. interview, and no, they're not doing archaeology again yet. So, okay. No, no new archaeology. Um, kind of my biggest concern, I mean, I got a lot of exciting things. My biggest concern is their revamp of skills and talent trees. Um, mm. I'm not sure they've separated it out in my mind about what skills you're going to actually just get and what will be points. I'm a little worried that they're going to give you something to get between 1 and 10, and then everything else is going to be points. But that's just my suspicious nature. We'll see how it works out. Hmm. Um, saw one question that included um, a phrase, we have to spend talent points to get our current abilities back. That was like a flashing thing in my head. Hmm. I hope that's not true. That'll be interesting. So obviously. Yeah, beta. Let's all get into beta and see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the, the main thing is, uh, one of the things that we discussed about the from the last show was we were off to transmog so that's coming which is exciting so I'm going to tick that off our list so transmogging gear again we need to wait and see how that's going to play out for challenge tunes hopefully it will be a thing I think that there will be a lot of us pretty shattered if it's not gonna come to the way that we would like it for challenge turns but um the main thing is yay they're finally doing something so um that is that is exciting um it takes place in azeroth that was another that was another thing um we find dragon isles which has been what was it like shrouded for 10,000 years um, but we are going back to Azeroth as per se so I was like yay we're yeah, happy about that, that. <laughs> um, no, I know there was some information on uh, on Chromie what was it leveling and Chromie time changes I did you read I through that? I saw something in passing that said that Chromie was going to do something where you'd be able to level 
anywhere like 10 to 60 or 1 to 60 or something. Yeah. So it looks like they might be adding in Shadowlands to Chronotype. Yes, that's what I yeah. read. So therefore um, we're not... level 10. Yeah, yeah so we're not really resetting a timeline then, are we? So um, No, so, didn't get that. No, didn't get that. Um, now, there was no mention of bag space or bank tabs that I saw, so I don't know if you guys um, saw anything about that, but I didn't, no, did not. I didn't see anything about that. Um, there was, was there any mention of Khadgar? Uh, nope. <laughs> we got Tuscar though. That's, uh, that's We have got one. Tuscar. Um, chasing a power source. Guess what? We're not. We're not chasing a power source, so, you know, that's, that's exciting for, obviously, for those of us with other tunes other than challenge tunes. Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think yeah, a lot absolutely. of us are pretty okay with that, and hopefully that will come over into, you know, making things a bit, maybe nicer for those challenge tunes that are, you know, up, heading up into that you know, 50 to, sorry, 60 to 70 um, bracket. So we are going to 70. So, you know, it's, that'll be interesting to go from that. Um, there was no mention of character slots that I heard. So that was disappointing. Yeah, sadly, no, especially with mm. the new race. Mm. So, so it's a bit like, yeah, okay. Um... We did get, and you know, that really, that did really surprise me that there is a new race. Obviously, that's going to be something we will need to look at um, because you're not starting at level one. You're coming in yeah. like the Death Knights and all that of old. You're coming into uh, as a level 58. Um, and that will... Uh, need it it muddles it muddies the water a little bit mm. as far as challengers go we really have to get in there into beta and ptr and see what mm. the actual deal is with them because right now i don't think we've gotten enough information There's to not. really make a decision yet yeah. and I, my my biggest concern and question mark is since they did a dungeon to get off exile island are they mm. going to require it on the new race that's a real big question mark they may not yeah. But the, the thought is sitting in the back of my mind of, well, they've done it once before now. So, well, Exile... We'll have to see. Um, Exile... I mean, that was a little different, but... Was I'm, only more for beginners on whatever yeah. class race that you took through, so... Yeah, I'm just... I, I just... <sighs> you know. I do wonder, since it's a new mm. class that nobody's had before, and it's a DPS heal hybrid... Um, I, I do wonder if they might throw that in so people can get their feet under them when they go to take yeah. them in a dungeon of how to play out. I'm we don't hoping, know. We'll I'm see. hoping not. Yeah. And I think they had mentioned that um, there was no prerequisite for you having to have a character at max level or whichever. So from what um, Ian had said, that it you can make it like regardless so whereas yeah. you know back in the day death knights you had to have a character at what was it 55 I'm they were say? really restrictive like you had mm. to have a, a one character at least on your account at a certain level and then mm. you could only have one death knight on yeah. per server or something yeah. so um so they've certainly changed things around for that uh but i guess again you know they haven't given us a time frame of when when the expansion is coming out um, oh yeah they haven't even announced out <coughs> yet so at this stage because of that there's no pre-orders happening because nobody knows exactly when um beta opt in i'll say now be beta opt in is up on blizzard website for those that want to um i opted in last night so i've sent my 
email through i had to you know you you've got to opt in so i've done that yeah if anyone wants to do it please do that please also let me know if you're going to do that because i'm thinking maybe we might do up a google doc and share that between everyone who's going to be doing some testing so you can put the thoughts down in one place that we can all you know just have that one place to put some information so Yes, anyone if you that's would doing like it to join the test team please get in touch with us <laughs> yes let us know and uh, we can go from there because having people testing we can't test every single class and race and all of that you know there's just there's there's no time for us to do that so if there's any one of you out there that want to you know come on board and help please send me a message send me you know let the mods know tweet at us whichever like whichever way that would be fantastic um okay so before i go into more things from the bingo card uh nisi let's talk about your thoughts on what was released the announcement stuff what what has your thoughts been so um I'm definitely intrigued and, uh, you know, curious about a lot of stuff. Um, I I don't really know what I was expecting, um, but it it wasn't that. I I will, I will say I wasn't expecting a whole new, um, island set up and, and I really don't know what, what I thought was going to come, but I was like, "Um, okay. Um, for me, it's too soon to make a definite, you know, yes or no. I'm just kind of floating in the middle at the moment. I'm like, okay, well, this could be very interesting. I've seen some things that I'm like, okay, that that's that's nice, that's good. Um, I do have a couple concerns with a couple of things they talked about. Number one, like the the, the new race coming in, wasn't expecting a new race at all. Mm. That that definitely surprised me, and it did surprise me that they basically kind of demon huntered them. So you can only mm. do this, and you can only be this. Though that that's it. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Not not exactly, you know, unheard of since it's a hero class, but, you know, still wasn't even expecting to get a new hero class. Mm. So uh, that that was interesting. Um, uh, I, But, yeah, we'll have to wait for, for beta for more information on that and testing because things can change from between now and, and, and release. We, yeah. We've all been there. We've all seen that. Um, yeah. But, you know, I, I do think that the changes coming into professions are good um i think that they'll definitely um, liven up professions a bit more i am definitely excited about the um the the commission system that's going to be coming in kind of like the the auction house orders things it's not going to be on auction house it's going to be something similar but mm. my regulars are so excited about that that looks mm. interesting and does, uh, definitely yeah. you know i think it gives those that that don't you know necessarily raid all the time or you know just want to craft stuff uh something to do mm-hmm. shall we say so i i did like that um the talent trees coming back uh were kind of cool to be perfectly honest from a normal character's standpoint mm-hmm. um i do miss that from from way back yonder so because uh, we could kind of you know tweak and, and put oh well i don't want to put all the points into that let me do like two and three i don't know the exact um way it's gonna work because i did i only watched the main video i didn't watch all the breakdown um mm. side stuff after it uh, i just haven't had time this week so it might have already been covered and i just didn't catch it but um you know, I, I think it'll be interesting. I was surprised that they're doing two, and that's kind of, hmm, okay, interesting. Um, the one thing that gave me a tiny, tiny concern was that they said, oh, you'll get a couple of talent point things for free. And I was like, uh, does that count as a point placement? I don't know. So that's something that we'll have to look at from a challenger's perspective. I was just hearing all the things were like, oh, is that a problem? That, that when they were talking. Mm. So um, and we'll have to look into it. We're still a long ways out. We'll see and we'll, we'll adjust accordingly. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's interesting. I, I do like that they said the zones are going to be big. Mm. Um, Shadowlands was very cramped. And um, for me, at least, the zones felt very tight. Everybody was kind of clustered in in, in tight but it looks like they're going to be big like like grizzly hills big mm. so um or at least some of them 
So I was like, oh, that's nice. Room to spread out and stretch out and not be on top of everybody else. I like that. Um, that that feels good for me as a bloodthirsty. I don't have to worry about other people being around me quite so much. <laughs> so I, I did like that very much. Um, I, I did like that they're bringing the Tuscars back in since it's been so long since we've heard from them and interacted with them on, on, on a mm. regular. And I did think it was kind of cute that they said, oh yeah, the Tuscars are going to be here and Ratchet the King Classic is coming also. Mm -hmm. So I kind of felt that was kind of a, a neat little cross reference between the two because they showed up in Wrath. Yeah. And uh, it'll be nice to interact with them again because it's been so long. And, and they, they're just cute and they're just, you know, they're not really fluffy, but to me they, they feel fluffy with their whiskers and stuff. And, and it'll just be nice to kind of chill out with them for, for a while. And I loved how the little glimpses that we got of the zone felt very much like their areas in Dragonblight. Mm -hmm. Just the small glimpses, but you know, it's still it kind of brought back the wrath feelings for me a little bit. So I was like, oh, that's cute. Um, but but yeah, I just you know we'll see what happens. Um, I don't have a, a definite this is awesome, this is bad decision yet. I'm just kind of floating along and seeing how things go, trying not to see too much too soon. But uh, you know, mm -hmm. we'll see see how this plays out. Mm hmm. Exactly. All right. So um, Rod says that um, Iron said so Cadgar will be joining us in the Dragon Isles, which Ooh, really interesting. Which is because uh, I was trying to think. There's just been so much since the announcement going on <laughs> that my brain is a bit like. Hey. Oh, um, yeah, I had to rewatch the reveal video like three times before stuff was kind I of sinking in. Yeah, it's not really sinking in for me yet. <laughs> Yeah, that's <laughs> the brains a bit. So, um, so we're going to cross off Cadgar. So that's very exciting. Um, all right. So there's no Mecca, anything as far as I could tell. There's, I mean, it's all I dragons, so it's scales and things like that. So no Mecca, anything. So that's we can cross that one off because that was like, yay, fair will be happy. Um, as to bag slots, stacks, bank tabs, bigger bags, there wasn't really any mention of any of that. Um, so I guess we wait and see. Um, there's no mention of Scarlet Crusade, which I'm kind of a little, <laughs> a little bummed about. Uh, light versus void, not really. I would say no, because it's dragons coming together with I guess with both factions fighting the well, things against dragons so I wouldn't really call that light voices versus void at all so um maybe not exactly but it did sound like Rathian was going to be back in in a part of this so yeah. maybe not so much as void versus light but maybe maybe some some good versus evilness in there with the dra black dragon plate we'll, well have to see it'll it might be the reason that um and when might come back because at the moment he's chilling in Oribos. so um spoiler if you guys don't know <laughs> um so the fact is yes rathian's gonna play some will be in dragon flight new expansion at some stage, so I'm I'm guessing him and Wrath uh, something there. Those two, yeah, I'm I'm sure. Uh, Anduin might want to punch him again. <laughs> Just saying. That would be fun. That would be fun. Um, challenger friendly. I'm going to leave that as I don't know. So we're not going to cross yeah. off the challenger friendly. Um, it looks promising, but we'll it see. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's it is. So really we going by what we had, so we had sixteen squares and we got five. <laughs> Which you know what? That's well that's not so I don't know if you guys can see I'm gonna try and that's the ones I've done the X through are the ones that we, we got. So um so in the grand scheme of things, you know what? Five out of 16 for us isn't too bad. <laughs> so, yay. 
Um, and it, it does sound like getting there will not be as much of a headache. Because uh. <laughs> it sounds like we'll be able to just hop on a boat and, and get there. Although there was a little mention of the boats being close to each other and opposite factions could mm. hop on your boat. Yes. And cause a ruckus with the guards on the boat. So pacifists might have to be a little bit careful. Mm. But, um, you know, it, it doesn't sound like it's going to be quite the headache as, as yeah. prior expansions well, have been. We'll, they we'll was, see. We'll they see. Was, but... They were saying war mode might be something some people want to try um, to get across. Obviously, we don't want that for a challenge too. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, uh, no. that would be, you know, like bloodbath. That would be bloodbath, not bloodthirsty. So, um, yeah. we don't want to do that. So, look, my thoughts on it are i'm i'm excited i'm very excited dragons who does not want to be a dragon or, or ride a dragon like i'm still hunting what timeless proto drake how many 15 13 years oh, god damn that thing i tell you um so i'm i am super excited about it i'm i'm hopeful as I said, I've opted in for beta, so fingers crossed again, anyone who's going to do some beta testing and wants to do, you know, them when we get to PTR and all that, please let us know because I will do up a joint Google Doc um, for all of us that are going to play around with some testing stuff. Um, I'm a little wary would be another thing thinking back of what we looked at when we were testing for Shadowlands you know and and the way that it turned out because there was a lot of things that we were like oh dear yeah this is not good you know and when it went live and things have changed over the expansion we've we've done pretty well with the challenges for Shadowlands we're up to what we've got 16 passes 40 maybe the yeah, irons maybe at max 17 sorry 17 packs passes because tiber you know had <laughs> dinged i'm guessing pushed it through tiber um you know how many bloods have we had i'm gonna say i can't remember ten? but 10 yeah like you know, the way that we were looking when we were doing the PTR and beta for Shadowlands, it, we were very, very concerned. So the fact is, yes. we have done way better this, this expansion than we honestly thought, which is, which is yay. Um, though, until things go live and then as things go live and things get fixed, I guess we are always hopeful we are also always wary um talent systems you know we can't we don't have talents like we strip down when it comes down to a challenger they are stripped of as much as everything and make it as bare and as raw as a tune can be so Whatever changes are coming with the new systems, with the new things introduced, we'll have a look at it. But just look, when it comes to a challenge soon, just always think, is it as basic as I can get it? If you are unsure, then strip it back to as much as you can and, and go from there. That's like with testing, you know what I mean? So if you're unsure of how things look at when you get into testing just strip them right back and go from there so um but we'll talk more about that for someone you know once we get closer and once those that get into beta and want to do you know give, pass on some information we would we would appreciate that so um so yeah so we will see um, I always have my fingers crossed that uh, we're going to have positive outcomes with things that will be challenger friendly, not challenger. Oh my God, look, we've got a hundred carat, you know, tunes all, everyone's hitting max. No one's dying. That's not what a challenge is about. The challenge is a challenge. 
Um, so, you know, but then the, we'd like to see a little bit of balance where we're not going, oh, well, I can't level anything. So, you know, so we are, I'm hopeful that there will be a place for us in this new expansion, but time will tell. So, um, so yeah, let's all have our fingers crossed. <laughs> Dragon lady, Azzy, is that me? I can be a dragon lady. That's, and not in like a good way. Sometimes I can be a, a dragon. I breathe fire. I am Leo, so, you know, I do breathe fire at times. Um, <laughs> nice for leader. The expansion will tell the story about the evolution of the Forsaken. Uh, just go back to Death Knoll. That's you know, Brill, Tiraspol, that's, yeah, that's so many good things. What's the pussycat doing? Anyway, everyone say hi to Cozzy somewhere around. Um, okay, well, we, we are hopeful. We are hopeful. Oh, he's over on the bed. Okay, sounded like he was here. Um, yes. Our weeks and wow. So, let's have a look. What have we been doing? Fair. Well, I um, haven't gotten that much done this week, but my Tauren Pacifist is level 55. Nice. I'm enjoying hunting for eggs in mm -hmm. Bloodhoof Village, mm -hmm. which surprisingly has a fair number of people running around it even at midnight my time. Mm, okay. That surprised me. But anyway, it's, there's plenty of eggs there. Just finding them. Um, my Night Elf Hunter Green Man is level 53. Mm -hmm. And the scout for her um, is nearly 50. So she'll start doing her scouting things okay. shortly. So nice. that I can start doing more adventurous things, hopefully, on the Green Man. Mm -hmm. than just the standard world quests. Looking forward. Cool. Okay, well, well done. 55 and 53. Awesome. Well done. Um, okay, and Nisi, what's she been up to? Oh, I don't know. What, has it, how long has it been? It's been like two weeks, right? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> I, I missed a week between my back and my migraine, so I, I feel like I'm missing time this mm -hmm. week, so... Um, Chromey time! Oh, <laughs> it's playing yeah, havoc. Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. That's just gone. Mm. Um, I, I've been bloodthirsty leveling, of course. What else do I do? Um, I'm trying to get my mission done uh, for, for every class max of the bloodthirsty. Um, we've got five to go. Mm -hmm. um, there's a light at the end of this tunnel somewhere. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> so... Uh, I've, let's see, the shaman entered my leveling rotation again, so they're up, back up to, well, not back up to, but they are up to uh, 41. Mm -hmm. um, I got my demon hunter up to 46 this week. Uh, nice. Druid has just gotten their toes into the water out in Bastion, um, and they hit 51 at the moment. Their leveling's going a lot faster than the DK. <laughs> I don't know why. They're both in wow. tank spec. Uh, maybe really? it's just because the druid's a couple levels lower than the DK. Maybe. maybe. I don't yeah. know. Hmm. Something interesting's happening there. But uh, yeah, druid went pretty quick. Um, for, for Shadowlands. Let me, let me preface that. For Shadowlands. Mm -hmm. um, so they hit uh, 51. And then the DK got up to 55. Mm -hmm. And that that took me almost an entire day. I think that was that was probably a s eight hour session. I okay. think off and on throughout the day. Yeah. Um, but I've also been working on something else in the background as much as I can. Um, have my leftover pacifist from the pacifist leveling contest that seemed like it was some time ago now. Um, they were just sitting around collecting dust. And I was like, well, look, e either level it or leave it at this point because you haven't touched it. Yeah. So um, I started leveling it and uh, put Chromie Time on, leveled till 50 out in Western Plaguelands. Mm -hmm. And uh, got 
to Shadowlands, and I don't remember what level they were the last time we talked, but I hit 60 about 1 a.m. So, uh, they, they're done. Nice. <laughs> I can put them away. <laughs> they're all done. Nice. Wow. That's awesome. Hang on, I'm just making it. Yeah, I was averaging about two, adjustment. two and a half hours a level just gathering in Bastion. And that was like with three bars of rested. Yep. Wow. Excellent. Well, I did I did see that uh, ding come through. So, again, congratulations. That's awesome. You need to get me your write-up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm working down the list. I, I'm so behind still, you guys. I'm halfway through the backlog. So if you haven't seen your write-up pop up yet, maybe on Tuesday I'm going to mm -hmm. have more time to try to, to bang out a few more. Um, but I was sick this week, so I didn't get that much done. Yes. But I do have some information. I, I've already touched base with, with Tiber. We, we've, we've already got that sorted. Excellent. So, um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try to get a few more done on Monday or Tuesday. And, um, you know, we'll, mm. we're, we're getting caught up. I'm halfway through. Yeah. So. Soon, soon, if you haven't seen it pop up yet. Again, you know, it's the website's been uh, kind of offline with a lot of stuff due to the coding issues, etc. So there is backlog. You've you've got to expect that. And as I said, we're going to we're putting them up in the order that they they've dinged and that order because it's just it's the way that we do it, you know. Um, so be patient. Uh, yeah. Working through lots of tunes, and it's not something that we like to just copy and paste and make a generic. We do try and <laughs> make it, you know, no, I mean, try to get some input. Uh, you yeah, know, I, I know some of them might seem a little form ish, but you know, there's only so mm. much that you can do with it. So I do try to let everybody, you know, put in a little bit of mm. their own story to, to personalize it a bit. And, you know, we do like to hear from you guys, but, you know, do try to get back to me within a week once, mm -hmm. you know, we, we get your questions and figure out who you are and because we can't always tell who belongs yep. to who. Um, so, you know, if you know you've dinged, be proactive. Reach out to us. Say, hey, that was my character because we may not know that's you. Yeah. And it saves us the time playing forum tag or discord tag trying to figure out who, who you are because mm -hmm. we don't know who all is in the discord or who is all on the yeah. forums. Yeah, because so, if there's no... No response where, I mean, if there's no response from the initial uh, week, we're, then we're just going to post up a very basic, congratulations, you yeah. did. Okay? So yeah. it's it's and, and going to be basic. <laughs> that's Yeah, I did that's find it. out tonight, um, a few minutes ago, that um, the, the numbers on the pacifists might be off by one again. I will let you all know. Okay. Because there was a little thing. So somebody dropped off the list that we didn't know. I think oh. everybody's actually right, but I have to look. I haven't had the time to Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, we will see. But yeah, certainly reach out if you've dinged yes. and if you've not got a name that we might associate with you. <laughs> and, you know, because some people don't do like a passy leader or a fair something something you know what i mean like this it's just or a soul you know like like nisi has so um so sometimes we look at the names and we're like Whoa, who's that yeah i will say this pacifist mm. of mine didn't have soul in the name this no because i had named them something different so people yes. didn't realize that i was in the contest yes so. <laughs> i know and i had forgotten that so when it came through that you ding i'm like sitting there going I know I should know who this is and it took me <laughs> like and and then I got the report and I was like hey, 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 it's Nisi <laughs> that's right so yeah it took me like five minutes I'm thinking oh, who I should know yeah so anyway it's it's all good um congratulations on your leveling oh, it you. seems like you're doing very very well and getting through those bloodthirsties that's certainly been a chore my sanity's well, hanging on lot. there i don't mm. know how but i mean you know the warrior is going to be the last one that's just the way it worked out because yeah. i'm trying to get about five levels between them now so i won't be able to bring the warrior back in until next week yeah but they're the one i'm the most nervous about because yeah, they, they ain't got nothing. So mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes. They've got victory rush. That's what they've got. Yes. So, yes. Lots of food on that one. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, I understand that definitely. And again, congratulations what? on your pacifist. Yeah, so you. that's that's awesome. What did you do this week? I know you've done a couple of things, or at least something, I, in the past two weeks. I, 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 I did. I did. I started my iron undead warlock so um so i've been streaming it over on my channel um which which is i was trying to play more i just it's been <laughs> irl is just sometimes yes. you just want to go can you just stop just for a minute i just want five minutes peace but no um, so anyway, I've I've managed to get her to level 12, which is very exciting. Um, and, you know, again, the nostalgia for me going through, because we're under Warlock, starting in Death Knoll. I love, I, I love that starting zone. It's just, it's just so much fun. Um, where in Brill, I'm trying to work out what I want to do because I'm like having this whole, I've so, just been so used to just not having to think about anything and go pick flowers because I've been leveling pacifists. <laughs> Fair, this is your influence. <laughs> I corrupted you. I, I, I love it. But coming back to, um, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Um, coming back to playing an iron because it has been a little while has been thinking like what the hell am I doing <laughs> so uh so yeah so at this stage I can't remember I think I left her in Brill I think we're heading towards into Silver Pine because I just love Silver Pine but I mean I can go anywhere and going anywhere is such a big decision big. it's almost overwhelming it is it is so um so yeah so so we will see i'm hoping to i'm hoping to do some streaming later today uh so we will hopefully get you know i'm not a fast leveler guys i never have been i'm the whole oh shiny let's go over there as you should know <laughs> Uh, I do get slightly distracted, but, you know, I have fun. And I'm still getting back into an Iron Man, which I haven't done for quite some time. So, um, so yeah. So, we will see how we go. But, yeah. I can just picture you running up to, like, the flowers and trying to pick them. You're like, why is it red? Why is it letting me pick the flower? I, I know. I pass many things like nodes and and the flower uh, the herbs on and it's just like i should be allowed to pick things because i'm a cute warlock <laughs> i'm a cute undead warlock <laughs> I, I will say working on my druid this afternoon uh, i'm i'm grinding in the same place where i was picking flowers on on uh, the passy that dinged and i'm like seeing flowers and i'm like there's not that many flowers out here today and i was like oh i and i'm like no you're on a bloodthirsty <laughs> mm-hmm yeah it's it gets a little not confusing but it does get you get used to one thing and and then coming into you know something else is is you know just getting your head back into it but you oh, know yeah. it's it's really i'm enjoying it so we where i'm gonna go i don't know but at the moment i think uh silver pine is yeah, well why not you know again i i love the story so i i think that's the main thing um maybe pop over to barons because again barons has got a lot of grindy quests i don't mind a good grindy quest yeah just you watch know? out for son of our ghoul or, or a ghoul in, in mm. the big ettons and you'll be fine yeah yeah so we will see but um that's what i've been doing um all right well, let's get on to where is my bumper? Let's play this one. Do, 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 do. Breaking down news from the world of Warcraft. All right, so we have got some congratulations. And oh, look at this. I'm very lucky. I've got two of you right here with me. And we have got one in the chat room. So that's exciting. Ah, uh, fair. Congratulations on your Iron Man. 40th. You're out. 40th oh wow My little shadowlands right iron man champion 40 ah, 
wow that's you know again congratulations let me see if i can get this right because you know i butcher the names all the time farah kiri yeah farah kiri yeah. kiri okay that's close that's close i call that a win uh congratulations that is fantastic and to nisi who we know down in front is My her gnome. pacifist uh so 16th question mark uh <laughs> which is congratulations that is amazing and then right after we got the i the state of the challenges so don't forget if State of the Challenges are being run an hour and a half before showtime. So 7.30 a.m. my time, guys, which is what, 5.30 Eastern? Roughly, yeah, because is... yeah, it was about 4.30 when I got the report, 4.35, something about there. So yeah, yeah, I'm an hour behind Eastern. Yeah, so when if you're leveling after that, it's not going to show. But because we did get a ding, we have included it this week and that goes yeah. to Tiber got uh his pacifist which becomes we think our 17th Shadowlands pacifist champion uh for Lata Latana Latana I think, I think is Latana Latana Lan Lantana um, Lantana uh which is Tiber's tune so congratulations. congratulations where's my little cheer hang on let's do this Did it play? I don't think it's playing. I didn't hear it. Let's try this one. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm doing big um, fireworks and applause for you guys. So if it's not coming through on stream, apologies. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um. So yeah. Okay. So. Again, congratulations. Well done. Who would have thought 40 irons, 17 pacifists? <laughs> I would have never thought 40, like, wow. a week before launch. There was no way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so Nisi did get our Noble Garden right up, up on the website. Thank you, Nisi. There is the link to it directly if you want to check that out for your challenge tunes. Uh, so it wraps up on Monday to technically tomorrow for me, you guys. Your Monday, so two days. Um, so yeah, if you yeah. want to get some, you know, some free XP, free in co quotation marks. You know, try, um, pop over and see. Obviously, if you're on a pacifist, please try not to go there at a busy time. Admittedly, and there is a new toy. Um, I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, which I did there on... There was two. On Lita. There's two? I only saw one. Yeah. Um, there was, a, a pouch of something that does the same thing That's as new one. the staff did that, that grew a flower. I, the name's escaping me, and I even wrote it. Um, and there's another one that's a basket that mimics the the quest item for the, um you get, like, the little speed boost to run around with. I thought that came in a couple of years ago. That Wow had had it listed as new this year, oh, so okay. I, I don't know. All right. Oh, okay, I better go double check, because <laughs> I, I, I need all the things, because when I looked, it said they I already it had Agar it. an basket or something, oh. and then something else was satchel or pouch or something yeah anyway um yeah so just remember if you're taking a pacifist over just be very conscious of people other people around because you know you don't want any prox kills or anything like that so if you can take them at an outside time admittedly i've been over a couple of times and there was no one in Raise the Hill um, when I was when I was there, and I play on US silly time for you know for you guys. So um, I would have been fine taking a passy over there, but 
you know, sometimes you don't have that option. Fair, did you say that you popped over there and it was quite busy at an off time? I go to the one in Mulgore, mm -hmm. Little Village. Um, I wouldn't say quite busy, but seeing two or three people is busy for me. Mm -hmm. Midnight Pacific time. Yeah. So yeah, just... I never did it this year. I was gonna, but I just I didn't have the time. Yeah. Um, Zaya said the one is from the quest. It's a toy now that you get, and the other one can be bought for a drop. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll have I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure I've got I've got them. So cool. Hey, <laughs> yay! Because uh, you know it's a bit like I have to have I have to have all the things. I like all the things. Um, all right, now what's what have we got? Volunteer Guard Day. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I oh, it's, this always pops up. What is it? Just once a year, or is it a couple? Times I think a it's year? once a year. Once a day. It, it might be twice a, a year at the most, but I think it's once a year. Yeah. So Thursday the twenty eighth. It's an all day event. Uh, so we suggest if you've got challenges around avoid the major cities for the day because it can get a little crazy especially with you know again in particular pacifists if you've got people killing stuff um you know there are uh what do you call it spawns um yeah there's stuff spawning can, you know people can are, be are killing triggered. the the spawns for for the micro events and yep. you know if you get too close we don't know the rhyme or reason to proc skills. They just seem to happen or they don't happen. So yeah. you're better off removing yourself from the situation mm. altogether and avoiding it. Exactly. And it's major cities. So um, yes. the normal cities should be fine. But the major ones, be very, very wary. Get your tunes out of there if you need to. Um, now, there is no show next week. So here is the heads up. Dark Moon Fair will start on may 1st which is my parents 50th wedding anniversary hence why we are not here next week because we will be in the process it is their actual wedding anniversary we will be having um a lovely lunch with our family and friends and get to celebrate that um so yeah so just a reminder dark moon fair is starting and we I won't be here next week <laughs> dealing with family and my parents yes so um so that is exciting uh for us but dark moon fair is a good time to start a new challenge tune unless you're yes, a protest sorry <laughs> yes yeah, exactly no love for the bloods uh nope. children's week will then begin on may 2nd all right runs for one week uh we will do an updated blog post just in case you know things have changed if they add things in um and you know we'll do a nisi will get sorted the updated blog post so expect that probably the afternoon of the second yeah. so if in doubt and you're not sure then hang off but children's week is only ever here for one week it can be very good with getting some extra xp uh also you know if you're collecting extra pets and things not that that's a big thing but sometimes it's like a bonus because you're like oh well i'll take this on my challenge tune and hey i got extra pets that's you know it's very exciting <laughs> so I always yeah, I'm not anticipating exciting. anything different happening this week. Maybe when when mm. Dragon Isles comes in, they might add in a new orphan or something. But we could we don't know. need, we'll you see. know, nothing. For that this would week I'm not anticipating. That would be super cute, you know, like a little orphan. Um, what are they, Dractia? 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 Yeah, I think that's what they were. That would be cute you know like the little kids with the little cute little scales and ooh, brief ooh, fire but what 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 about the tuscar because they are bringing <gasps> tuscar children in they, could, they, uh, they showed the models of them so 
so both be a oh, that would be too orphan. cute yeah that would be real who knows cute. i mean we're speculating of course <laughs> but you know that that would be very cute for them well to we we speculate because we hope that it could be something that's challenger friendly which gives us more xp without having to you know anyway fingers crossed we we will see how that goes yeah um all right so there is obviously a lot of things going on with like world events and all that in the next couple weeks so please keep an eye on the website uh, etc for that um, we also want to remind people you know our wonderful team especially Zaya, Rod and Nap thank you guys who are getting things moving and have got things moving with the coding uh, if you pop over to the website you can add tunes teams are not ready uh, but you know they've been working very hard getting things sorted so you know which is fantastic but we also want to remind you and this was a change that came through with Blizzard when they changed what was it California laws all changed and therefore yeah, they changed the, the California changed data everything. law or something yes so and originally it was a reminder for characters in progress to log in once a month. Now, any tune that has actually dinged is frozen. Okay? Is frozen to that. They but should be. Should be. If you don't see it on the site, please let us know. Yes. Um, but, however, um, the if you are... <sighs> I was going to say, if you're logging tunes, if you are progressing and leveling tunes and get a bit slack like me and forget to log in, look at please logging in at least once, once a month, okay? The guys are trying to run because Blizzard's API is for 28 days, all right? Once the 28 days, it drops off. So I know they're trying to work out and, and play around with some of that coding to make it easier for our code and the API to read each other and with the reports and all of that. But please remember, if you can log in, look, two weeks, don't have to log in every week, two weeks, three weeks, no more than four weeks please just you know if you want to keep your tunes current and on the list that is up to you to do we we have to comply comply with the rules for otherwise you know they're going to turn around and take us down and we do not want that guys so please no. if you want your tune to stay on the list you need to be logging into it regularly. I suggest at least two or three weeks, maximum up to the four. Okay. Now, if they onus drop is off, on on you. Can re -add them. Yes. Okay, yes. Just wanted to make sure that if you, if they drop off, they should be able to be re-added. But the onus is on t on you to you know make sure that you keep make sure there. it's there. So please, again, reminder uh, to do that if you need to um okay so we have got also spreadshirt has another promo from the 3rd to the 5th of may if you're interested 15 percent of everything uh link will be on the website and also just again reminder no show next week uh because it's my parents 50th which is you know it's a pretty big deal so Yes, so very, very, them. very exciting. Quite the milestone. It is. It is very exciting. Uh, okay. So this is the first time we've done this in quite some time. I'm very you excited. Know it feels funny. I'm very excited. Uh, ladies, are we ready? Because you know, I yes. I think we kind of need we kind of need a bit of a drum roll because we've not had this. It feels like we've had. We this need a new bumper for no time i know I, I think we need to get some new bumpers but anyway let me do a little drum roll and we get to do state of the challenges Yay! Yay! so irons let's go fair who have we got all right at position number 10 grim lisa 
This is level 24. Uh, position 9. Um, do not buff me. That's a good name. <laughs> level 25. Love it. Love it. Uh, position 8. Hard iron. Level 26. RIP. So sorry. No. Try again, I hope. Yes. Um, position 7. Calamity Jane. Level 26. Great name. Love it. Yeah, for sure. These good names. Mm. Uh, position 6. Uh, Lano. Mm -hmm. I hope I've said that right. It has a little sig signal logo on it. Oh, mm -hmm. but anyway, level 30. Um, position 5. Iron Tunis. Level 34. Position 4. Dorito Pug. <laughs> level 42. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Yeah. Uh, position three, Ash Steals. Mm -hmm. Level 50. Nice. Let's hope that's a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, position two, Varanair. Level 57. And position one was my Farakiri. Level 60. Fantastic. Very nice. Very exciting. All right. Bloods, Nisi, who we got? Okay, so in sixth this week we have Misfit at level 21. Fifth we have Zaya Bingo Bingra. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Zaya, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, level 24. Uh, fourth, Tidal Soul, level 41. Third, Soul Glaive, level 46. Second, Soul Survivor at level 51. And first for Bloods this week, My Bloody Soul at level 55. Nice. Good to see that uh, Nisi, 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 Nisi. Oh, there's <laughs> yeah, like, And someone else. Nice. Nice. It's all, that's always awesome. Uh, okay. We have got Passies. Fair. Who have we got? Okay. Um, eighth position. Um, Passy to heal. Heal. Mm -hmm. Level uh, 11, position 7, Himbor, level 13. Nice to see some new passies starting out. Mm -hmm. um, position 6, Peacefulness, that's a good name, level 37. Um, position 5, <coughs> excuse me, No Harm Done, level 43. Uh, position 4 is Zaya Pelli, level 44. Um, Fere, who is my Tauren pacifist mm -hmm. druid, is 55 in position 3. Position 2, Lantana, level 60, and still in level 2, that's funny. Um, 17th Passy, um, that's Tiber. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And first position is Nisi's down in front, level known Passy. Congratulations, level 60. Awesome. Yes. Look at that. We have two passies this week. That's amazing. But look at that list fair. How exciting. Look at all the passies. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. I love seeing that there's new ones and mm -hmm. higher ones. They're all over the place. It's great. Yes, it is super exciting. Uh, all right, Nisi, if you want to take the tin Sure. And then so the greens. we have one tin challenger this week, mm -hmm. Iron Mason at level 13. But what's even more exciting is that we have Green Man challengers this week, you guys. The mm -hmm. Green Man tracker is working. Yay! Um, so in seventh this week, we have Gree Blood at level 11. We At sixth, we have Otakon. Is that, is that taco? taco? I don't <laughs> I'm gonna... I told you the trackers were working again, I'm but gonna I'm not say sure. that's it might not be. Taco? But... Sure, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't... Maybe. Okay. We'll see. Hmm. They're, they're level 13. Mm -hmm. um, fifth, we have Maiden Less at level 17. Mm -hmm. Fourth, we have Gren Green at level 23. That's Mrs. Rock Guru, I believe. Um, oh, okay, third, cool. Third, we have Barak at level 23. To Celadon at level 51, and first this week for Greens, Fair Lathi, La, La, Lathana. There we go. Something like that. Elathana, yeah. Elathana, okay, yeah, no, I can't pronounce anything, so. 
That's a hard one. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Dyslexia doesn't like that name. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, uh, wow. Greens, well done. That yes, list so looks... nice to see greens up there again. It is. And I'm going to do the working man. There was only one working man this week on the list. And it seems like it's familiar. Does it, it seem does, like it's familiar? Because it? I know he's not been around a bit. I think he's still in the chat room. I think. He was anyway. Anyway, we have got one working man this week. And it is Work It Azzy. <laughs> Yes, at level back, 16. This is exciting. Watch, make some companions for that. Yeah, I yeah guys, know. working man's tracking again, so go get your working man on. Mm, don't, don't tell me things like that, because I've been... <laughs> <sighs> anyway, uh, well done. <laughs> well done, everyone. And again, well done to our wonderful team. Zaya, Rod, Nap, like... State of the challenges. I thought we were not, not ever going to see it, but I honestly thought we were. Yeah, it might not have come back. So, the fact that this is this is amazing. You guys rock. Yes, thank you. Seriously, thank you rock so much. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is a, if you've not guessed, this is a, a longer show than I anticipated. Um, all right, let's do the bomb pong. Where is it? This just in. It's Chit Chat. And if anyone's, like, I miss Rogue Slayer all the time. And I hope maybe one day, I still live in hope that she will come back and play well. I know she's very busy with with um, IRL and her and Julie and the house. If you like, go check her out. Her TikToks are fantastic. She's they're doing up the house. They're doing she's doing all sorts of things, and I just miss her being over here. So I I love to hear her voice every you know week on the bumpers. You just have to. Um. So yeah. Ah. Uh, Jokes. We have some puns, some jokes. Fair. What's the first one? Okay. What is a hungry dragon's favorite day of the week? What is it? Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. Like, I just... That was so cute. How could we not? <laughs> All right, Nisi. What else have we got? Okay. What do the best dancing dragons train to compete in what is it a talent show <laughs> That's great. i have i have too much fun trying to find stuff i i swear um which means then i had to find one for me because you know why why not and dragons we've got dragon flight coming dragons are coming it it, it just made sense all right here we are why are dragons so amazing at making music? They really know their scales. I love it. That's great. <laughs> it's so cute. So cute. I had to have that. All right. Tiber's got stolen joke of the week. Here we go. Every morning I get hit by this. I get hit by the same bike. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> I know I that one. I've never, I've nice. never heard that one. That's so cute. I love it. I love it. So true. So true, though. Vicious cycle. Thank you, Tiber. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, do we have anything? And in... don't think we have anything in the chat room we need to talk about i think we've got everything that looks like it did. yeah all right well i think we can uh, wrap things up so nisi do you want to do our thank yous for our iron elite please sure so we would like to thank our iron elite supporters you can become that uh through several different ways you can check out on the website how to become a supporter and you guys help us keep the show going lights on and all of that so thank you very much to the following people Alejandros, awesome trousers 
Bas Cell Dave the Fucker, which his name may have changed again. Execute <sighs> Bear Grand Negus, Chris W. Lauren Rimar Lita Mr. Bright Zero One Mrs. Rock Guru Me Rudd Stir Stone Tiber aka Tiber Winima and Zaya. Thank you guys. Seriously, we do greatly appreciate your support as well as we appreciate all support that we get, whether it is likes, retweets, you know, checking out the information, popping over, leveling your tunes, streaming your tunes, all of that stuff. We do greatly appreciate it. So thank you. I also want to say again, I know I say this every week. Our mods, you guys are the best. Like, seriously, I just, I cannot put it into words sometimes. So, from Stir and myself, I have to say huge hugs and hearts to this bunch of amazing people. Awesome Trousers, Boz, Execute, Fair, Chris, Nisi, and Zaya. Thank you for all that you do behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, helping me because working, looking after sick parents, or like all of the things that sometimes it's it's so good that I don't have to be entirely focused on this because I have to have my energies elsewhere and I do appreciate what you guys do greatly. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Also to our Code Wardens, which is basically Zaya, Rod, Nap, like, cannot stress how wonderful it is to have things working and moving in such a forward motion with the, with the site, with the coding. We've still got a ways to go. I, I'm trying to work through some WordPress stuff. Bear with me because I'm... <laughs> not good at it uh but you know well, wordpress can like die in the fire uh, so. the whole <laughs> oh, the whole thing is just yeah but anyway with like it's baby steps so the fact is we have got you know all of the base challenges and the other the solo stuff are working please go level please have fun with it if you've got any questions shoot us you know shoot us um uh, the questions about oh, totally. you know so all of that stuff to the mods tweet us email us any of those things use if you've your got hashtag any if you're tweeting about your challengers yep hashtag well challenges so we can see it we can post we can you know commiserate or congratulate exactly there's stuff. we have all of those stuff so um so certainly you know make use of that and uh, have fun have fun with it that's our main thing and to you guys in the chat room thanks for hanging out appreciate you giving of your time to come see me and these two fabulous ladies and we talk about wow challenges and talk about wow and just have some fun so I do appreciate that and anyone listening thank you for listening we do appreciate that as well so again well, I will be back on Saturday May the 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern, because no show next week. Uh, parents' 50th wedding anniversary. I have much to do. Did I mention that? Yes. We are going a little bit crazy with their cupcakes. They want cup cupcakes. Did I tell you that? Cupcakes. Two, yeah. So um, I'm going to have some fun with that. Uh, but thank you very much, uh, wonderful ladies, for joining me, Nisi and Fair. Thank you, thank you for being here once again. Can you please tell everyone where they can find you and get in contact with you? Fair, where can we find you? Uh, you'd find me on Discord as Fair. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest way to find me. <laughs> Pretty much, exactly. Uh, thank you for that, Nisi all the okay, things so i'm i'm all over the place um basically nisi bgn wherever um uh twitch twitter youtube um instagram email pretty much like nisi, nisi bgn at yep. gmail yep 
Um, Pretty much. And I'm on the Bot Challenges Discord as well. Nisi, phonetically spelled after it in, or in parentheses, uh, 4863 is my ID number. Absolutely. Uh, and don't forget, you can find all of the things over at wowchallenges.com. Information for our Discord, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and the YouTube channels are all over there. You can check out episodes on things like Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, okay, uh, Stitcher Radio, that kind of stuff. Uh, and if you've got any questions, if you've got any jokes, uh, puns, uh, make sure, uh, you know, as family friendly as you can be, there are some really horrible jokes out there. I'm not going with them. Uh, obviously, that's subjective, but um, if I don't like it, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> so I think that's fair. Uh, if I don't think it's appropriate for the show, I'm not going to read it. But if you've got some dragon ones, some cute World of Warcraft, some uh, otter ones, what else? What do we call Tuscar? Tuscar are kind of walrusy? Like, yeah, kind of. I'm just thinking of, you know, looking forward to Dragonflight. If there's anything here, jokes, puns that you think would work with that, then please send them to podcast at wowchallenges.com because uh, I do love to hear from you guys. So um, any questions, any of that, please do that. Uh, don't forget, you can find <laughs> me all over the things. <laughs> if I'm not Lita, Lita Wow, or Kim Loves, that's that's the whole thing like i'm all over anyway i have a list it'll be there if you want to find me i'm doing the stuff i'm going to stream iron my iron under warlock uh once i get the editing done so hopefully like today <laughs> uh at some stage so that that will be fun uh and yes so check that out if you want to uh, ne uh, last one, fair. Can you do that last thank you for me? Yeah, we have uh, another thank you, a very big thank you to Mr. Brighto One for our wonderful intro. You can find him on Discord at Mr. Brighto One. Absolutely. And again, we absolutely love that intro. It is so much fun, makes me smile, which is good. The other thing that makes me smile is over there, I think. I think so. <laughs> uh, and a huge, a huge thank you to my husband, Execute. Thanks, babe, for helping me with the outro, which you will hear in a moment. I do appreciate uh, uh, him helping me with that. So... Thank you, ladies, for today. Thank you for our predictions. You know, we didn't do too bad. Five out of 16, I would, you know, I call that, yeah, that's not bad. Hang on to it. Maybe they'll throw in some little extras <clears throat> by lunch, by like more bag slots or something. You know? Exactly. Oh, nice. I, I I have it here, so I will, I will file that in the... You know, we'll keep an eye. Maybe there are things. Maybe they might say, "Hey, look, you can have some more bank tabs." Yeah, you know, we'll keep that handy. Please, they don't give us everything at once. So yes, they'll, they'll hand feed us a little bit more as yes. we get closer. More character slots. Please, at least five, at least five more. Please. please would be really good. Really good. Not that we're all alto, you know, alcoholics over here. Okay. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. So, you know, it it would be really it would be really really good to have some more slots cuz it gets a little bit sad when I've got to delete tunes that I don't, you know. That's it's not a nice feeling. Um so yeah. So thank you ladies for again joining me today. I do appreciate that. Uh everyone stay safe both in and out of game hope you have a great week a great couple of weeks and uh, don't forget we will i will be back on the 7th of may 7th 8th hang on i got completely blank 7th 7th there we go it's, it's throwing time 
can you believe what Seventh I think? for us, eighth for you. Eighth for me, that's it. Because I was like, doesn't make sense. That's right. Seventh for you guys, eighth for me. So I will be back then. Uh, so please uh, have a great couple weeks. All right, ladies, say goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye, all. Stay well. Bye, guys. <laughs>The WoW Challenges podcast is a World of Warcraft gaming podcast produced by Lita, copyright 2022. Portions of this podcast belong entirely to Blizzard Entertainment. Music used for the show belongs to Kevin McLeod at Incomputech.com as well as from Bensound.com. No copyright infringement is intended. just thinking of one of my most exciting things about a new expansion new screenshots <laughs> am i a sucker for How many screenshots? screenshots can i send you from one zone again <laughs> it's but isn't it amazing when you look at a zone like with some zones how how much difference there can be you know just by change of of time of day that you go there, the way that you can, you know, tilt and position. There, uh, I there will is say so character much. height actually makes a difference too, because a couple of those <clears throat> I took on the gnome. Yeah. And everything else was on the taller characters. Yeah. That it's definitely or purely is if you can like zoom out to complete max and then take it you know, take it from that kind of, like, there's there's so many different variables that you can get with screenshots. Really excited about getting new background screenshots. <laughs> so, you've been warned. Haha. <laughs> so, anyway, our show titles. What have we got? Uh, what have we got? Nisi, I noticed you've put a couple oh. down. Yeah, I put a couple down. Okay. So, bloody patient for Fair and I being together. Um, <laughs> cautiously optimistic about the new expansion. Um, just simply dragons. Or dragon around. Just kind of trying to play on, on dragons <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, what do you people have? <laughs> oh, that is super cute. Anyone else in the chat room got uh, anything they want to put forth? Fair, do you have anything? Um, not really. I like something dragony, the dragonish of those choices. I was I was thinking, um, what about we just go a talent show? <laughs> That's nice. We could do that too. From the joke. Because it's dragons. And we're definitely not a talent show. <laughs> but it's funny. What do we reckon? I think that's a good choice. Yeah. You like that? Go with that? We like that? Okay, let's go with that. A talent show. Done. All right. Okay, guys. Have a fantastic week, everybody. Please, again, seriously, stay safe, all right? And we will catch you in two weeks. Uh, take care Mwah, to you all. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.